Hello and welcome to Cutter Builds. We're back with another episode of Icarus and I've done a little bit of resource gathering and ran back to the main base last time we were in the desert and we're going to be heading back out there to get some uh, mining set up at those two deep mining nodes that we just found. But first uh, we got our level and our level is super important here for a few reasons. I was just taking a look at this new deep freezer, which I really want to unlock, but I'm going to uh, refrain from spending that point just yet because there's a few other things that we need to get today first. And that is this electric deep mining drill. We are going to be starting out with electric out in the waste. And I think I've already got the solar panel unlocked here. Somebody suggested using solar panels at our remote mining drills. Uh, to keep them going with uh, less attention and I think that's a great idea I won't have to go out and refuel them so even though they won't run during the night I think that's going to work out better since I probably won't get out there quite as often and the electric mining drill is actually 25% faster than the gas drill so that's going to work out really well the other thing that we're looking for is this short range radio board and this is going to allow us to receive missions and so i'm going to go ahead and pick that up here and at some point i'm going to want to be able to uh use this thing that allows us to get deliveries for our exotic retrieval i'm not quite ready for doing this yet i don't think but i think this is going to be what allows me to uh send my exotics back up without having to leave the open world map here so that's going to be cool but i do want to get this thing built today just to check it out i'm not sure if we're going to do a mission today or not but uh we should be able to play around with that a bit and i am going to need some iron ingots for that so let me grab those real quick we've got a ton of iron now so we'll just grab a couple stacks and we uh, mined that little cave out by our base and got a bunch more titanium and platinum. And as you can see, my platinum axe is about to die off here. And so I've gone ahead and made the titanium axe as its replacement for when it does break. We're going to use it to the a bitter end though. And if we check here, I should be able to build this short range radio like so. I'm going to go ahead and drag this uh, down to my bar. We're running out of space on the bar, and oh, I need to make some more bandages while I'm thinking about it. There we go. All right, let's see here. Wow, this thing is huge. I wonder if I should be putting this outside, technically. I mean, it is a radio. It's got the antenna and everything in here. I guess I can put it in here. We've got some room right here. Uh, let me first get rid of, uh, of this thing. There we go. And if I push F to interact, I've got two missions available craft some tools to help out a new prospector in need or hunt some nearby creatures in the current area to help make the area safe for other prospectors interesting well uh, hunting seems like the easier of the missions so i'll go ahead and request the hunting and i've got to hunt rabbits wow really okay well we'll uh we'll get right on that i hope there's not a time limit on that because we're not going to get right on that right now <laughs> And then I've also got some talent points here that need to be spent. Uh, we've got one point here. This maximum stamina seems like the uh, place to be. I do want to get down here and get uh, the fact that my crops won't wither after growing because I always forget about them. And then uh, space and stomach seems awesome. So we're going to need to get down here at some point as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up that stamina point. That seems like uh, something that I'm going to use no matter what. And then if I go over here to the solo tree, I've got one more point available over here as well. Uh, what were we specking into? I've got health regeneration, which is always nice. Animal health bars was something I was talking about wishing I had. Uh, melee damage might not be bad. If I get a point into this, I wonder if... Uh, it's going to let me get a point down here next time. We're going to try it out. We'll see how it goes. We can always go up and buy respec points at some point in the future. And I'm hanging on to this point. I'm not sure what we need it for just yet. So let's jump over here. All of this uh, leveling up was so that we could do two things. One, I need a solar panel. So I've been gathering all these resources and uh, I should be able to make a solar panel. And then I want an electric deep mining drill. So we're going to get one of those going as well. 
drag both of these over here. And let's see, I'm going to need more carbon fiber if I want another one of these. And a lot more glass and carbon fiber. Electronics are going to be a problem here at some point. But of course, this is what we're building all of this for, is to get to being able to have as many electronics as we want. So I'm... Uh thinking we're okay. We can make some of those resources when we get back here. Oh, I do have some more electronics. Well, let me double check here and see what kind of a uh, spot that we're actually in for all of this. We've been running the electric furnace here as well as this machine. I find them both useful. So I slapped down that second biofuel generator we made in the middle of the house we've just been running it here it's been working out okay so that's going to take 30 and then that would take 15. i've got enough electronics to do this we just need some glass and some carbon fiber well in that case we've got what it takes to do this i'm going to slap some silica in that furnace and we need carbon paste which is just epoxy and organic resin also with silica ore though um that's okay i can make that we've got a fair amount of epoxy in here and the organic resin is just a wooden oxide which i have in abundance so let's go ahead and crank that out and i will need a little bit more aluminum here so we've got that in uh, great piles here We've actually been using up a lot more aluminum lately than I thought we would. I didn't realize that uh, carbon paste used uh, so much of that, and we've made a bunch of that. So I guess it's a, a good thing that we got as much of that as we did. We do have an aluminum deep mining node. In fact, I think I've got another aluminum deep mining node that I've come across that we're not even mining because we've already got one. So since this is cranking out the glass, let's go ahead and come over here and we'll have this one crank out the carbon paste for us. I'm slowly getting to the point where uh, I don't even want to use the older furnaces. The electric furnace is a uh, bit faster, I think. All right, we're back. Let's uh, make a second solar panel. Although one of these could run two of these drills. Uh, as we discussed in the comments of the last video, I think it was probably not a great idea to try and figure out how to run uh, electric cable all the way around the desert there. I think it's going to look shabby and be more trouble than it's worth. So we're just going to wrap some of this stuff up. And let's check the fuel here. Oh, we are uh, starting to run a little low on fuel. Do I have a full can? Oh, we've got all kinds of full cans. Look at that. I could disconnect some machines and shut one of these off. That would be the smart thing to do. But you know what? We're kind of lazy and biofuel is easy to come by. So we're just going to keep the base running here, make everything uh, easy on ourselves. And before we get going, let's eat. I'm down to my last fruit pie. That's all right. We're going to eat that. Whoa, I don't want to consume a stack. Consume, consume. I probably should have uh, rested before doing that. I would have got a double the uh, time on our 50% bonus on the time for those. That's all right. I'm... Uh, just kind of anxious to get going here so we're gonna take off and I'm gonna make the run over to the other base while it's still light out we'll probably sleep in our bedroll and then uh, we'll dive into setting up some solar power we're uh, back out here in the desert the Sun is starting to go down so it's cooling off a little bit here and uh, I also wanted to mention I appreciate all the comments Ooh, our stairs broke here I wonder what happened uh, I appreciate all of the comments, though, about uh, how we could have built this stairwell a little bit uh, differently, a little bit better. Uh, if we'd just gone along the cliff face, we probably could have got away without uh, um, having to have all these pillars and stuff. So I do always appreciate the comments from uh, people helping me think of better ways to do things. I'm uh, not always the uh, smartest guy when it comes to uh, thinking some of these things through. And I just get excited that I'm building stuff and doing stuff and then uh, don't stop to think about, uh, hey, you could do this a little bit different or a little bit better. So that's always fun. So here we've got a deep mining drill. And then I think as long as we're running our little shack over here, we might as well try and set the solar panel up on top. Now I realize I don't have, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, I don't have a... Uh, a lot of sun right now 
but we'll make do. I'm gonna get a ramp out here so I can actually get up onto the side of this real quick. We'll put that right there. And I think the solar panel is just going to come right up on the roof. I don't know if it matters which way it points. Uh, it probably does, but I'm going to point it this way, I think, so that it's at the uh, clear part of the sky. And then if I get my tool out here, click there, I'm going to bring the connection right to the corner here. And then I can run it down the back of the building. And then away we go. It's uh, getting dark fast. Let's turn on uh, the lamp. That looks actually quite strange going straight into the uh, auger like that with the cord, but that's all right. Uh, we're all hooked up here. We don't have power because obviously it's dark. So let me mine this oxide and then we'll go sleep. All right, I am back here. We had to make a uh, campfire to be able to get everything set up and running here. And now I'm realizing that uh, I do need to get back up and check this with the ramp. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove our little campfire again. And if we slap our ramp back on here, I don't think we're gonna get sun because uh, we're in the middle of a sandstorm. Come on. I just want to test things out. Why do you got to be so difficult, game? So this is also going to be uh, maybe one of the downsides to trying to use a uh, solar panel here is that the desert is filled with sand. And these sandstorms, I'm almost positive, are going to interfere with our ability to see the sun. So we're going to have to wait for this storm to blow over before we can uh, test things out here. All right, it looks like our storm is uh, winding down here and the sun is starting to come up. I believe uh, from over the side of the mountains here, you can see the line on the uh, ground here where the sun is. It looks like it's just a shadow around me. We've got all of these stupid scorpions everywhere that keep uh, coming after me. And of course this cougar that's probably going to figure out how to get up here, so... There's the cougar. Seems like a shame to waste bullets on a bug, but I don't really want to get uh, attacked by all this stuff. Oops, didn't mean to jump down there. Let's clean this up while we wait. All right, I can hear the drill going. And you can see this a little bit on the solar panel turned to green here, so I know that's working. I don't know if I can actually repair that or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. I think it's probably pretty durable. And then if we come over here, we've got the drills going. We've already got a piece of copper ore here. Very nice, very nice. So we're going to go ahead and nab that and let it do its thing here. And we're going to go over to the other side of the valley and set one up over there. Uh, in this cave over here that I explored off camera, there is another deep mining node for silica of all things. And so at some point I might just run an electric line across here into that cave to power a deep mining node for silica. Um, don't really need that much silica right now. There's plenty of it laying around on the ground. But at some point, as we advance here into a lot of the Tech 4 stuff, we do have a need for a lot of glass materials. And so we will uh, we'll keep working on that. And then uh, this is the new resource that was just added in uh, the recent patch this week, which is salt. That's going to allow us to start salting our foods, which makes it uh, so that they'll last longer, I believe. So I've been gathering a couple nodes of that. We'll uh, probably try and check out the new stuff uh, in the next video. Maybe uh, my goal now that we're into tier four and we're starting to get set for resources is hopefully I can start covering uh, the weekly updates as they come out each week and showing off uh, what they do. I'm not quite there yet though. We're still getting a on our feet here in tier four. We've got a few more things we need to get up and running, but to be honest, the solar panels and electric uh, drills out here in the desert are going to help us uh, achieve that goal pretty quick. So I'm going to put that there 
and probably see if I can set this up on the rock maybe just to uh, get it out of the way. Hopefully it won't uh, get destroyed or anything then. Um, I don't know. I don't like how that uh, sits. It looks kind of a wonky. Uh, maybe we're just going to put it down over here and call it a day. Although this cougar... I was really hoping for the headshot on the first shot there. Cougar's kind of a problem. Let's see here. I want this to face that way. And then let's hook this up to that. And I don't feel like a knife is the best way to do this. I don't really want to get poisoned. Oh my goodness, the wildlife out in the desert here is absolutely crazy. Um, these scorpions are actually a decent source of bone, though, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And surprisingly, prime meat. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just collect all these resources. The bone is coming in real handy with all the epoxy, and uh, quite honestly, killing the creatures is a great way to get XP and level up here. So we've now got a source of gold going here. And we've got a source of copper going, so we're in a pretty good spot here. I'm going to really hope these solar panels don't get uh, destroyed with uh, all the wildlife and stuff around. We're going to find out the hard way. Um, if not, what I probably need to start doing is, I think, build a little one-by-one -one shack around this and put the solar panels on top. I think that would probably be the best thing to do uh, in the future here. I'll bring some stone walls back out with me when we come out here to check on stuff next time. However, I think this is going to be an awesome place to wrap up today's episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. That's all for today. Kedrick, out.